Hello, one and all. Thanks for joining us here at WSKI TV 17. And remember our website, WSKITV.com, for this forecast brought to you all year round by Geppettos. And as you can see, we're missing a little bit of a system once again headed to the southern New England states. But we will pick up a bit of additional accumulation Sunday night that will taper off to flurries during the day on Monday. A little bit of a breeze factor at the summit and temperatures on the cooler side. So dress for winter on Monday. Summit temps 8 to 12 at the base 21 to 25. On Tuesday, warming up 12 to 16 at the summit, 20 to 24 at the base with partly sunny skies. We will see clouds on the increase and there will be snow overnight. And fingers crossed that will stay snow on the mountain throughout the entire day on Wednesday. Tapering to flurries could be mixed at lower elevations, but temperatures will be dropping throughout the day. So when you get up on Wednesday, that will be the high by the time you go to sleep. Back down to cooler temperatures as reflected with Thursday's forecast, a high of 10, summit low of minus is five partly sunny skies and then warming up a little bit with partly sunny skies on Friday as we head towards the weekend. Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail report and we're looking at 145 trails and trail sections for Monday. 62 will be groomed on Sunday evening and nine lifts will be operating. Hopefully winds won't be an issue with any of them. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Upper Binder, Spurline, Cinderhoe, Totes, Kings, Hayburner, Gage, Comp, Sluice, Spillway, Winters, Candyside, Boardwalk Landing, Birches down below and of course also do Gondola the line and wedge so looking really nice for fresh corduroy on those trails first thing monday morning get out and make the most of it on the east side also extensive grooming Boom Auger, Hallback, Flume, Widowmaker, Ram Down, and Two Hall, Whiffletree, Rollway, Slasher, and Upper Pole Line in the, off the Whiffletree Chairlift. And on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, and Good Chance will get groomed. Those trails are off of Bucksaw, but Bucksaw does not operate during the week, but you can still access them from Tote Road or from perhaps a break at Bullwinkles. Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway are the chairlifts at the bottom of the mountain. They start up at 830 and that is where you need to head to if you're just learning how to ski or ride. Double Runner starts up at 830. That gets you up to a bit more intermediate terrain and also some beginner terrain. From the top of Kangaroo Hill you can also get to the bottom of Skyline from the top of Double Runner. Scott Super Quad Skyline Hopefully good to go at 8.30 in the morning. Watch our live show to make sure the winds are not causing any problems at the summit. And if that is the case, at 9 o'clock, Timberline should follow. That is the summit chair lift. 9 o'clock is also start-up time during the week for Whiffletree down below and King Pine up high on the east side. you got beginner and intermediate terrain off of Whiffletree whereas King Pine is intermediate and Black Diamond and even double Black Diamond. If you'd like an alternate, Outdoor Center is where you can head to for ice skating, hockey on Tuesday and Thursday evenings, cross-country skiing, and snowshoeing. And conditions are currently fantastic for all of the above, so make sure you pay a visit to the Outdoor Center during your stay here. And there's also the main Hudson Trails huts to check out. All four of them serve lunch, so take a day to go in and hike to one of the trails if you're not, to one of the huts. If you're not actually staying at one of them, check them out. Maybe make your reservations for next year. March 6th through 8th is next weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're doing morning and evening shows and take Taking names and numbers to win that Thule rack, so make sure you watch and win with WSKI.